Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today is Wednesday, which means, again, it is Top 5 Wednesday, and today's topic is title fonts on covers. So I'm really excited for this topic because, as we all know, I love book covers, and talking about book covers is something that I do in every single video. No matter how hard I try, I can't help it. I end up talking about the cover of a book at least once in every video, and I just, I can't contain myself. I just love covers. And today, we are specifically talking about the title fonts on the covers, and my top five favorite ones. So as per usual, Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over on Ginger Reads Lainey, and I will link her channel and the Goodreads group down below, and you should definitely check those two out because they are wonderful. So I'm really just gonna jump right into this because this really needs no introduction. We're just talking about some title fonts that I really, really love. So coming in at number five is Uprooted by Naomi Novak. Now I have the beautiful UK edition of this book that I adore, and I love the font for the title of this book. It's just absolutely stunning. I love the little detail on it, which makes it look like it has thorns, just like the rest of like the ivy and the thorns that are out here and the branches. I think it goes with the story really well, like a fantasy type of magical story, and it makes me think of fairy tales, and I love it. I really, really love it, and it's the same on the spine as well. But yeah, I really, really adore this title and just this cover in general. I think it's really, really beautiful. Coming in at number four is the font on the cover of The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. I adore this cover so much. It's one of my favorite book covers that I own, and I love the font. You'll notice from this video, I really like cursive. I like cursive, like, swirly kind of fonts, and that's why I really like this one so much. I think it's so stunning. It's so simple, but it's really, really beautiful at the same time, and I just adore it. I think the font on this book cover is just beautiful. And I also really love how the cursive title goes so well with the all caps text that um, the author's name is written in. I just think that those two complement each other really, really well, and I adore, I adore this font. I, I love it. I love it so much. Coming in at number three on my list is the title on this beautiful edition of Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Now this is from the Vintage Classics. I think it's the Penguin Vintage Classics edition of these books, and I have Mansfield Park and also Pride and Prejudice, and I adore these editions. They're so beautiful, and my editions are specifically from Anthropology. Anthropology just recently released these in hardcover, so I have these in hardcover, but I know that they have almost every single Jane Austen book in this collection in paperback, but only four of them have been released in hardcover, and I have these two. But specifically, we are talking about the font on these books, and I love the font for the title of this. I think it's so beautiful. It's really, really simple, and it's all in caps, but I think it's just stunning. It's it's the simplicity. I really love simplicity, especially on book covers, and that's why I like this one so much. I just, I think it's just beautiful. I think it complements the cover really nicely, and I like looking at it. I It looks like handwriting to me, and I like that in a font, so I really love this one. So it has to be my number three. Number two on my list is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I adore the font on the cover of this book. I tend not to like big blocky fonts that often, but with this cover, I think it works so, so well. And I love the fact that the title covers the entirety of the front cover of this book, along with um, the author's name. And it's just so beautiful. It's also shiny, and the cover of this book is just stunning. But I really, really love the font on this too. I think it's just really cool. It's really bold, and this cover stands out. And I think that's very much because of the font, and I love it. I really, really love this cover. I love looking at it, and yeah, this is just a great all-around cover and a wonderful, wonderful font. And number one on my list, my favorite title font of any of the books that I own, is definitely Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Guys, I love the font on the cover of this book. Not gonna lie, it's the font 
that this title was written in that made me want to buy this book in the first place. I saw someone, I don't remember, who review this on their channel forever ago, and once they brought out the book and I saw the cover of the book, I was drawn into it immediately because of the font. I'm obsessed with this font. I think it's so pretty. I think it's so fitting for the story, and I want, like, this tattooed on my body. It's just so so beautiful i love it and it's just ah uh, i can't i can't even explain it i just i love the font on the cover of this book it's so well done so whoever designed this cover props to you you did a really really good job i adore this i think it's wonderful and i would buy this book based on the font alone that's how weak I am, but you got me. You did your job. Good for you. So there you go, guys. That is it. It's a pretty short topic for today, but I really enjoyed it because I love talking about book covers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's not a ship that I ship. I don't like this ship. I don't like it at all, and I have lots of issues with it.